Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to follow up on an experiment that I did regarding these household smoke detectors. And these household smoke detectors have a radiation source in them, it's called americium. And it's developed from toxic nuclear power plant material, it gets reprocessed, and gets repackaged into americium that's put inside these detectors. So this experiment's been running since March, it's now November, and this is what the plants now look like. So this particular plant had six smoke detectors, this particular plant had one smoke detector, and this particular plant had no smoke detectors, it was actually the control plant. And the thing you'll notice is they're all looking pretty much the same. And this is what radiation does to plants. So it's very clear that these plants have reacted in a very, very bad way to the radiation produced by these commercially available ionizing smoke detectors. And I'm quite shocked at how bad they look. And it's taken, it's taken several months for them to get into this horrible, deformed mess that they now look like. They're all on the verge of death. And I expect probably in the next month or so they're actually going to die. So uh, it's very clear at this point that these plants are actually harmed by the radiation emissions out of these smoke detectors. And if it's harming plants, you know, plants are biological organisms, just as the human is a biological organism. You gotta kinda wonder what it's doing to kids, and you gotta wonder what it's doing to babies. Because if it can kill these plants, there's something very, very strange going on with the emissions coming out of these detectors. And I just wanna talk a little bit about this control plant. And you're probably wondering, you know, why has the control plant deformed? And the simple answer to that question is that the control plant did actually get an exposure to smoke detectors. And if you review the original video, you'll actually see that the smoke detectors are on the table around these plants. And this control plant is actually about a foot away from the detectors. So it appears that the exposure that happened to kill all of these plants, that exposure occurred in probably the first half an hour. As this plant, this control plant was on the table for about half an hour around the smoke detectors. So it actually got irradiated by the emissions from the americium for half an hour and that sealed its fate. And that half an hour exposure has, over several months, turned it into this. So it seems to be irrelevant as to whether they're growing next to smoke detectors, because it appears the very initial exposure is what kills off the cellular development over many months. So that was a very interesting outcome of this experiment. And uh, I no longer have these americium smoke detectors. They're called ionizing smoke detectors. I actually use optical smoke detectors. And they're commonly marketed as kitchen smoke detectors. And if you value your health, I would suggest it's in your interest to dump these. And you do need smoke detectors to maintain your insurance coverage. And you just simply switch them out to optical smoke detectors that don't have any radiation inside them. You want to find out more about the various toxic effects of electrical products that are in your home, you'll find it in this book. It's called Toxic Electricity by Stephen McGee. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.